today was the most emotional day of my life. I was crying the whole day and it was just really emotional and I felt bad because I didn't um, tell my mom that I was going to do that and he, she, he, she didn't have any idea that I was converting to Islam. Hi guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video. My name is Esteri. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Tampere, Finland. Finland is not the most religious country in the world. Um, yes, technically it's a Christian country, but most people here don't believe in God. And that's how I was raised as well. Um, I grew up in a really small town called Harola, where there is probably 200 people living there. So everyone knows each other and a religion wasn't a part of our lives. I didn't know anyone who was a believer and so on. So, um, yeah. So my mom doesn't believe in God. She does believe in some higher power, but doesn't really believe that it's God specifically. Um, so she wanted to raise us the way that when we grew up we could decide for ourselves if we wanted to believe in something or if we didn't so that's why i didn't grow up in a religious family so <clears throat> growing up in school of course we had lessons about christianity but to me they never felt right they never felt like anything more than just some stories some fantasy, something that some people believe in but that weren't for me and I never understood the Trinity or anything of it really, it didn't really feel right to me. So um, growing up we did go to church every now and then from school and with my mom as well but it wasn't about religion at the time for me. In Finland, when you are 14 or 15 years old, you go to this summer camp um, that is based on Christianity and you, they teach you a lot of things about um, Christianity in there and at the end of the camp there is this um, ceremony called confirmation where you basically get the permit to get married in a church etc. So um, in Finland, most people do that, um, they go to the camp and do the ceremony, even though it's not about the religion to them, most cases. So um, it's kind of just like a cool thing to do and after the confirmation ceremony you usually get a party where you invite your relatives and stuff and you get a lot of presents and and good food and all that so that's probably why most people do that at least for me that was it and for everyone I knew it was about the party and not about the camp that much and not about the religion at all so when I was 16 years old I graduated from the elementary school and decided to move to Tampere, which is one of the largest cities in Finland. And I wanted to move here because I wanted to go to this high school that had a music line there, because I love to sing and all that. So I applied and got in and moved to Tampere and still wasn't religious at all. Religion was not part of my life in any way i didn't care about it and i didn't feel like it was something for me so i just kind of lived my life and didn't really care when i turned 18 i resigned from the church um, <laughs> because when you turn 18 you need to start paying taxes to the church and i didn't want to do that and i was thinking in my mind like hmm I will get back in when I need to get married in a church because in Finland at least um, getting married in a church is a really 
beautiful tradition and most people want to do that and when they get married in a church after that they resign from the church like next week or something <laughs> maybe the next day even because they don't want to pay the taxes but they just wanted to get married there because it's beautiful and it's traditional and so on but when i turned 18 um the same year i met my husband alhamdulillah and he is a muslim he has been born into a muslim ha family family <laughs> and is a really religious person alhamdulillah and um Every now and then he would try to tell me about Islam and I would shut my ears, I wouldn't want to listen. I was just like, oh, don't talk to me, please, can we talk about something else? And um, that went on quite a while and every now and then he would try to ask me some questions of like what I believed in and I was just really arrogant, I remember being like, well, I don't believe in God because obviously he doesn't exist and you can't prove me that he exists and all that. So I was just like really arrogant about it. Then maybe I would say six months later, I decided that I want to do some research on Islam so I would know what he believes in and um, I could try to understand him better and stuff like that. So I found out that you could listen to the Quran in Finnish from Ule Arena, which is um, a media platform where there are like news and TV shows and the radio and all that. Um, and the Quran was also there in Finnish. And so I started listening to that and um, I thought to myself like, okay, that's cool. It's really different from the Bible because it, it's not about stories. It's more like how you should be living and stuff like that. So that was really interesting to me. Um, but yeah, so I started listening to it and every now and then I would have some questions about it and I would just um, write them down and then later on ask my husband uh, or Google them as well. So I started learning how to pray and then a couple of, couple of weeks later I decided to say my Shahada, which is the what is that? What is that in English? The Declaration of Faith. Um, Uskon tunnustus <laughs> in Finnish. I decided to say that and went to a local mosque and did that and the day was the most emotional day of my life. I was crying the whole day and it was just really emotional and I felt bad because I didn't um, tell my mom that I was going to do that and he, she, he she didn't have any idea that I was converting to Islam and so I felt really bad about that but at the same time it felt right to do and I wanted to do it um, pretty soon because I thought why wait um, because I'm sure that that's what I want to do and just a little reminder that even though you say your shahada and become a Muslim, it doesn't mean that you have to be the perfect Muslim. It doesn't mean that you have to know everything about Islam because that's just not possible. You can never know everything about Islam and you can never be the perfect Muslim. You just need to try your best and God will understand and God will be uh, forgiving and merciful to you and he will guide you in your life when you ask for it and um yeah so please be kind to yourself and don't expect too much from yourself because you cannot be perfect you just need to try your best and that that's all that counts and god knows that and i think that's also a good way to end this video because i think this might be quite a long one so i don't want to make it any longer 
I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section and inshallah I can make more videos about my journey and what happened after my shahada and how I started wearing the hijab and all that um, inshallah in the future I can make more videos about that but for now I will end this video so thank you so much for watching if you lasted the whole video with me thank you thank you thank you you are amazing and peace and blessings be upon you and yeah so bye